like to introduce you the ultimate solvent with real penetration, ATDS, Amphiphilic Transepidermal Delivery System. But first, let's talk about our skin. Our skin is actually a barrier mixed with water-soluble and fat-soluble layers. For example, the first one is the sebum film, which is mixed by sweat and oil secretion is a fat-soluble layer. Then the liquid between the epidermal cells, cellular interstitial fluid, is a water-soluble layer. The cell membrane is fat-soluble, and the inside of a cell is water-soluble. Therefore, if there is a water-based product, it will be blocked by fat-soluble layers, and fat-based product will be blocked by water-soluble layers. That is why our skin is actually a perfect resist barrier made by the Mother Nature. And that is why we need ATDS. This is a unique and U.S. patent solvent. Now, let me do a little experiment to show you. Here, we have two containers. One is water, the other one is oilic acid. Oilic acid is the most abundant fatty acid in human adipose tissue. Let's see how is our lapsatscorbic acid serum with ATDS solvent dissolving these two different liquids. First, let's take two drops of lapsatscorbic acid in the water. We don't need even to stir it. You can tell there's no drops, oil drops or other things on the surface. Here's the same. We drop two lapsatscorbic acid in the oilic acid. Here, it's fully dissolved. You cannot see any water drop or anything else. So this experiment proves that ATDS solvent can be dissolved in water soluble layers and oil soluble layers. So from the experiment, we can see ATDS can be water soluble and fat soluble at the same time. It can dissolve water soluble ingredient and fat soluble ingredient. However, it's not water, it's not oil, and it doesn't contain alcohol either. From the photo, you can see here are our topical serum series. There are vitamins B3, lapsatscorbic acid, coenzyme Q10, and ferulic acid serum, and so on. They are either fat soluble or water soluble ingredients but they are all in this amazing ATDS solvent. From this comparison, we are going to see the difference between different solvent. The first one, the water-soluble solvent, it can be penetrated through pore and sweat gland. However, it is unable to integrate into the sebum film. With the ATDS solvent, we are also liquid Therefore, we can also penetrate by pores and sweat gland. Furthermore, we are easily integrated and pass the sebum film. We can directly penetrate different stratums. In this comparison, we use the whitening ability of vitamin C to tell us the penetration difference. Compare between our lapsatscorbic acid topical serum and other brands vitamin C serum. We can see how they can whiten the iodine pad through the artificial skin, or called hydrocolloid dressing. From the after picture, we can tell that only sense cells iodine pad had been whitened, but all the others are still remain iodine's dark brown color. This proved that Sensel's serum with ATDS solvent can really reach the penetration we want. In this comparison, we place various vitamin C serum on glass slide for after 24 hours. Then we can see how Sensel's lapsatcorbic acid is still stay liquid while all the other formulations have dried up. 
This proved that Sensel serum doesn't evaporate in the air. Therefore, when you apply it on your skin, it really gets absorbed by your skin, not evaporate in the air. Thank you for watching. See you next time.